Okay, this is take two because in the middle of uh, doing the video, my alarm went off and shut off the video and I went talking on for another 10 minutes. <laughs> Not 10 minutes, but a couple minutes. So good morning, everybody. It's a good Thursday morning. It's raining, but it doesn't matter. It's a good Thursday morning. What a fantastic prayer meeting we had last night. Uh, manifest presence of the Lord was there. A healing was present. Uh, renewed hearts were going on. A call of the Lord to... To, to, to get back to our faithfulness to him and all that oh man it was just so good to be able to express our love um, to the Lord in that way so we're reading through Nehemiah Nehemiah chapters 1 to 5 we're going to take a few days in Nehemiah and then we're going to last day we're going to hit up on Micah and then on October 1st we start in on the New Testament and you guys breathe a sigh of relief because <laughs> there have been parts of the Old Testament that are uh, sometimes are, are a little hard to get through um, but we're almost there. So here we are with Nehemiah. Nehemiah is an incredible man. Uh, those of you who are, uh, have that gift of administration will respond to Nehemiah. Uh, those who are in that, that type of leadership, um, you will respond to, to Nehemiah. But the big thing about Nehemiah was he was a man of faith. Uh, he, he was a servant to the king. And this is what's amazing. The Jews were just in everything they were involved in everything you'll find them at every level of, of government and uh, we as Christians we withdraw from society and and we need to look at this example of being involved in society at every level of society uh, where we can exert influence um, as we saw with Daniel Daniel was pretty high up there but but we we saw with with Mordecai Mordecai ended up being oh, uh, an official in, in the king and Mordecai was was nothing before and Esther became the queen and and here we have Nehemiah um, uh, 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 the the priest Ezra was was also um, known uh, by the king and it, it's like yeah come on people let's get on the ball and get involved with our society and be an influence so anyway here we have Nehemiah he he uh, encounters somebody who came from uh, Judah uh, they gave him a report, it breaks his heart, he goes before the Lord, he cries out to the Lord, he asks the Lord for favor uh, for, from the king. And, and he goes into the presence of the king and he's downcast, which was against the law to do, but there he was downcast. The king uh, inquires of him, Nehemiah tells him what's going on, and uh, the king says, well, how much time do you, do you need? How, when will you be back? So he's obviously a valued um, servant uh, to the king. And, and so Nehemiah was bold and he asked for stuff from the king and, and, and he went. And, and we just see here this demonstration of boldness from, from Nehemiah. Um, he, he, he knew whose God is. He knew his God is. He knew the promises. He understood um, his calling, his purpose. He understood this and he walked in boldness of it. And no matter what the threats were, no matter what he was facing, he, he addressed it with such a, a calm and, and coolness of this is, this is the fact. God is God, and this is what we are given to do, and we will do this, and it doesn't matter what they're saying or what they're doing. And, and, he, and he took, he did take the steps, so he took the practical steps. He didn't sit back because he knew he was, he, he was called to action here. He was a co-laborer here. It was not a matter of sitting back on the couch where all God said, you know, that this is so he, he'll work it out. No, he took the actions. He, he took the precautions. He did what, because he had responsibility. He was, he was, he had responsibility and he had to act on that responsibility. And, and he did. He did everything that was in his power to do and he trusted the Lord for what was beyond for him to do and, and the Lord protected him in all of that. And he protected the building of the wall and, and all that was going on. This is just amazing stuff. Now, quite often, uh, we'll get people who, who answered the Lord's call. But there could be one of two problems. Either they don't know who the Lord is, they're not absolutely convinced of who He is, or they're not convinced of their calling. Because as soon as one or two or three or four um, difficulties and challenges come up, they become discouraged and they quit. And, and we, if we are absolutely convinced that God is who He says He is, if we've got that centurion faith that, that we believe he exists and he's a rewarder of all those who diligently seek after him. If, if, that, if that is what we hold on to, if that is who, who we are, 
Um, and we, we believe without a doubt that, yeah, that whole thing that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him, that his favor rests with us because he's called us to do these things, then we will walk in boldness. And it doesn't matter what anybody else says, whether it's detractors from, from our own camp or whether it's from the enemy's camp, it doesn't matter. Nothing will stop us. Nothing. Because we know that we're on the Lord's side. And, th and that's all that matters to us. And, and we will go after that. And we will pursue that. So I just want to encourage you today not to be discouraged. And, and it's easy because there's so much right now. There's so much ugliness. i got to tell you, there's so much ugliness. Uh, when brothers and sisters are using mockery uh, to tear people down and... and just foolishness and, and, and calling people names and all kinds of stuff. It's just, it's ugly. And that's not what we do. Man, we have discussions. We, 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 we talk with one another. We love one another. Um, we don't poke fun at each other. We don't call each other names. Um, that's not who we are. We love on each other. We, we love on the people of this world. There's no room for hatred. There's no room for mockery. Uh, mockery is a terrible terrible thing it, it's 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 as bad as as sarcasm and this sarcasm was has been my tool and my language forever and and i've been convicted uh, about it that it's not a language of love and i've been trying to change that i was i was very good i was a quick wit when it came to sarcasm um but it's it's not it doesn't convey love and, and that's got to be at the heart of everything that we do so I'm going to leave it at that. I just want you to be encouraged no matter what you're facing. Remember who your God is. Remember the mission that he's given to you and nothing will stop you. Be blessed. Be encouraged. Laugh a lot today, people, because we need it. Laugh a lot. God bless.